News. Now at four, we have an update on an eyewitness news exclusive. The Cumberland County District Attorney is now planning to retry the case against a teacher accused of assaulting a child who's nonverbal. That move comes a few days after our reporting and our calls to the DA's office. Morgan Norwood talking exclusively to a concerned parent. She's in Fayetteville now with this new development. I spoke with the DA this morning. He said that dismissal had nothing to do with the facts of the case or the allegations themselves. He said basically he was ready to argue that case back in April, but somehow the victim and the witness didn't show up due to some sort of miscommunication between them and the courts. Either way, he tells me he's now retrying this case inside this Cumberland County courthouse. Eyewitness News getting results tonight after we uncovered that April Cottle, who was suspended from J.W. Coon Elementary, was hired as a special needs teacher at Bill Hefner Elementary School. One parent there speaking exclusively with us, keeping her son with autism out of Cottle's classroom. The 15-year teacher was charged in January with two counts of assault on a handicapped person. According to detectives, a janitor witnessed Cottle hitting a nonverbal student at J.W. Coon. CCS suspended her with pay in January but by April, charges had been dropped. Therefore, the school district says they couldn't hold it against her. We asked the DA what happened there. Here's what they told me. We were ready to go forward that day as far as having the case, the state's case ready. Um, you know, the prosecutor was uh, prepared for the case and that sort of thing. But obviously, um, the victim and witnesses were necessary. And again, we were under the impression that the case was not going forward that day, that there was going to be another continuance. Um, there was some confusion about that. And and, um, you know, not really going to point point the finger at anyone on that particular issue. Uh, but fortunately, there is a process where we can go back and, and let this uh, victim and their family have their day in court. As for Cumberland County Schools, they released the following statement to us today, telling us that they learned about the retrial this morning and have suspended April Cottle with pay. Now, the DA, Billy West, said that he expects April Cottle to be served within the next few days, but back inside this courthouse within the next month or so. In Cumberland County tonight, I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Morgan, thanks. And new this afternoon.